Lorraine, welcome to the Winter Gardens. Here we are on the eve of the women's match play. You've just got here, you've had a look round. It's all very exciting, isn't it? It is really, really exciting. I'm so excited. What's it been like since you realised that you were here and it was all mathematically, you were qualified and you were one of the first eight? Well, it's obviously it's been brilliant. And then, of course, a switch on the telly last Saturday. <laughs> and uh, I can't remember whether it's Saturday or Sunday. And, and so I watched Dimmy walk on because obviously we've got the same walk on yeah. music. And all of a sudden I thought, oh God, this is getting real. <laughs> I could hear my music, music and I could see the crowd and it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> are we gonna get the dimmy dance from you as well tomorrow? Definitely not, there are no moves <laughs> coming out of this body, I can assure you. <laughs> You've played on some fabulous stages in the world, but is this a whole different level, the Winter Gardens here in Blackpool? Oh, of course it is, because it's such an iconic venue, isn't it? Um, and to be fair, up until the PDC giving us this opportunity through the Women's Series, it's never been on the hit list because you never thought I would have the opportunity, you know. So, of course, once I qualified, it was like, oh, this is another box I can tick off, you know. So, so it's amazing. You come here in very good form as well. Arguably, that last Women's Series, you were the standout performer of the weekend. You, you and Eileen really set it alight. So you must come here full I of confidence. all right, didn't I? <laughs> It was like, secure that third spot. <laughs> and still, you know, perhaps didn't get all the results that I wanted, but I got a win in the bag, so that, that was a massive, uh, massive thing for me. Was that important to you, heading here, to, to, to win one and give you the confidence and the belief that you can beat everyone in that field? Yeah, of course. Of course it does. It, you know, everybody loves to win, no matter what. But having, having got to something like seven semi-finals and then just, you know, miss out, obviously being battered in some, and then miss out by, by a, a one-leg decider in, in effect. So, so, yeah, of course, it, it was great to, to win one, so at least I can say that I'd won one. <laughs> I know last year's Women's Series, you were so disappointed with your performances. What changed from last year... To this year because you look a different animal in this women's series now <laughs> oh i'm an animal <laughs> <laughs> um i think because we the i felt so deflated after the first weekend last year because yeah. i actually went and i wasn't feeling very well um so i couldn't i set off great and, and had a really good run in the first one and then it just went downhill from there on in and it was like oh this is such a chore and I just can't do it and and whatnot so of course you, you've got to come out all guns blazing with new season here we go you know start again and you've certainly done that obviously all eyes will be on Fallon and Lisa for obvious reasons but the other six of you come here with real genuine claims to win this title as well don't you of course they can have all the limelight and we're all just <laughs> going to sneak in <laughs> Is it as easy as that, slip, slipping under the radar and letting them take all the, the limelight? Um, no, but it, ca it can't help when you're in the spotlight all the time. Although I have been recognised a couple of times walking around Blackpool this afternoon, so I was pretty pleased with myself. <laughs> you take that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I was like that. <laughs> the Women's Games in a fabulous place right now. The expansion of the Women's Series, the match play will return next year and £140,000 in prize money across the year for you women to play for. Has there ever been a better time to play women's darts? No, no. And this is, this is what we've, we've been sort of striving for. And um, when I was chatting to Dan earlier on, it's the confirmation knowing that it's definitely going to be there. And that's all we've ever wanted. You know, for years it's always been a little bit, oh, is this going to go ahead? Is it not going to go ahead? You know, so, so to know that it's set in stone, we know exactly what we're working towards, we know the cut-off and we know this and we know that. So it's so much easier to play when you're not worrying what you're trying to qualify for, if you like. That must be a huge relief because, like you say, in the, in the past with the BDO and everything like that, there have been question marks right up until you actually got to the venue, what was going on. So yeah, the, the, the relief now that you've got a full season to look forward to it must be a, a huge relief and so exciting at the same time of course yeah it's so exciting it's, I need to find another word other than exciting <laughs> <laughs> is it a real pinch yourself moment as well because for years and years Barry was adamant that the men and the women had to play together or, or, or not at all but the way Fallon at the world to Lisa getting a tour card has really broke those barriers down and um, where we are now did you ever think this moment would happen no <laughs> no, I didn't. I genuinely didn't. I thought we'd just have to like plod on and keep doing what we were doing and and 
of course, Lisa getting a tour card through Q School, I mean, that was massive. But then it also can be very deflating. And if you're going out, you, you've got your tour card, you think that's it. And then it's like, no, week in, week out. It's hard work. It's hard work. And, and to play on that level field is, is difficult. Every one of us can play really well against fellas, you know, but to do it to make you live in, which is what Lisa was doing, that's hard, that's really hard. We know you mentor the young players as well, but to see Katie and Chloe qualify especially and this whole young pool of young talent coming through the ladies game must be so satisfying. It's brilliant, but it, it also gives such strength and depth to the to the eight that we've got here. You've got those oldies, you know, and and some in the middle, and then the youngsters coming through. So it it, it shows a whole variety um, of we've got age and experience, and then the young feist, feistiness coming through. So it's it's all going to be great. How does it feel to be the hunted for the change? Because these youngsters, I know they're, they're, they're hungry, they're, aren't they're, they? They're hungry for they success. really are, and they have no fear. That I didn't have fear when I was 18 years old. I'd, I would have relished walking out on that stage, and now it's like, oh, okay, this is going to be a whole new experience. I think, I think with age, you think about it a bit more, um, and they're just like ready to get at it, which is brilliant. And you can't ask for a better attitude, really. Where's the ceiling for the women's game? Where, where, where would you like this to, to end up? Um, ooh, that's a good question. Um, maybe a separate worlds would be great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is there a ceiling for it? I, that's what I'm asking you, isn't it? <laughs> throw that back at you. <laughs> <laughs> Lorraine, thank you very much as always and all the very best this weekend. Thank you. <laughs> um, Lorraine, you've achieved so many great things in the game. You're the former world number one, world championship finalist, a major winner, but to win this title, where would that rank? Would that be the, the greatest achievement for you? Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think well, you've got to say yes anyway while you sat here. But no, no, genuinely, it, it would be top of the pile for me at this stage. I mean, you, know, you need no further incentive to win this fantastic title, but the winner gets a spot in the Grand Slam of darts as well, so what an opportunity that would be to play on the, on the big stage against some of the best players in the, in the men's game. Yeah, and I, I really like the the Grand Slam. It, you know, as a spectator, I, it's one of my favourite ones to watch because you can go out and have a really bad game, but you're not out of it then. So I think that's got to give you a bit more of a sense um, that you can relax a little bit because you know it's not... Oh, I've lost my first game on the first night, and you're out. You know, so and I think it's really exciting because, you know, you can be you can be top of the group, and then, on after your third game, you can be out. So it, it it's cutthroat, but it's exciting. And you must come into this event with real confidence, as you mentioned there with Phil. You won your first women's series title at Bent Ten. You've been so consistent reaching the latter stages, so you know your game is there. I do, and that all helps because confidence is everything. You know, you know yourself if you if you're not playing that well. You, you're going to have more doubts uh, creeping in, um, but no, I'm, I feel really, really happy and relaxed about it all, really. And just finally, up against Rianne Griffiths in the first round, what are your thoughts on playing Rianne? Rianne's a great player, and we actually had a real battle at the last one. Um, I think I was like three nil up or something, and then the next time I looked at the scoreline, it was three all. It was like, oh, okay, here she comes. Um, she, she has got that fight to dig in and stick in. Um, and my, game, my, my goal is going to be to cross the line. So, um, great player. Nobody can write her off. Brilliant. Best of luck, Lorraine. Thank, Thank you. you.